reported cases of the coronavirus in any other country in the world. But that was to say there are more than 85,000 across all 50 states. The death toll is about 1,300. There are stay-at-home orders in at least 23 different states. All right, let's talk about this. Thank you, Gail. Okay, look at this, people. Our pharmaceutical medicines are being outsourced to China and other countries. We're in 2020. If people want to go war against America, they don't need a missile. They don't need a nuclear bomb. They just need a virus, okay? You're now quarantined at home. We have doctors that are sleeping outside on their grass, okay? We are supposed to be a superpower, right? No, we're all under quarantine because our government doesn't have enough tests for our people. If we had enough tests for all our people, then the people who had the coronavirus could have been quarantined and everybody could have still went to work and whatnot. Now we're supposed to sit back and everybody who makes under $70,000 a year, which is... 90% uh, of the country um, is going to get a lousy $1,200. That's what you're going to get, you know, for staying home and being off of work, all right? That's nothing, okay? That's not even rent for some people. All of this is happening because the last 20 years, America, our government, and these big pharmaceutical com companies are outsourcing labor uh, so they don't have union and, and have to pay people's retirement funds are all being outsourced in India, China, supposedly third world countries, okay? So now us Americans, we're gonna be on lockdown. Who knows how long that's gonna last? Who knows how many people are gonna lose their job, lose their houses, lose their sanity for Christ's sake. All of this is because our government allows this. It's 2020. If you want to sell drugs in America, you have to produce them right here in America on American soil.